Gregory was a student at a school in East London back in 2003 and about to embark on an epic journey. He heard that politicians wanted London to host the Olympic Games in 2012, and if they won, it would be right in his backyard. Many of his friends didn't seem to care about this, but he thought that it could be a real opportunity. Through his head teacher, Gregory had been on a leadership training course with Citizens UK, an alliance of schools with churches, mosques, trade unions and other civil society institutions. He'd been trained along with other leaders to go out and listen to what was important to people in their local area. They found lots of people complaining about housing and jobs. He pulled together a team who decided to act on what they had heard. They wanted to ensure that the Olympics brought a fair deal for everyone in East London. They created a clear set of demands and presented them to the people in power. At first, the politicians leading the Olympics bid refused to meet with them. Gregory and the other people in the alliance realised that they needed to build power if they wanted to be recognised. So they decided to produce a video letter outlining their demands for the common good. Living wage jobs on the Olympic Park, training and jobs for local people, affordable family housing to be provided after the Olympics. By now, Gregory was one of 500 citizens leaders from a diverse range of local institutions who through their organising tactics and persistence had persuaded Londoners, the Mayor and the Bid Committee to consider these people's ethical guarantees into the London Bid. These very same teachers, cleaners, students, shopkeepers, imams and priests, empowered through the relationships they had built, now stood on the same platform as those from traditional positions of power. Gregory led the citizens' delegation to a signing ceremony at City Hall and delivered a powerful story about the impact the Olympics could have on his life. The main politicians involved, Mayor Livingston and Lord Coe, were moved by his story and not only recognised the alliance, but also agreed to include the citizens' demands in the bid. On the 6th of July 2005, Prime Minister Tony Blair and Lord Coe would share the London bid with the rest of the world. London had won, and the simple act of knocking on doors and listening to people had extraordinary outcomes. This ability to rebuild and strengthen communities is based on a process called community organising. It works to build a diverse membership alliance that is trained, to listen to local people, build teams around issues that matter to them, develop the art of public action, demand recognition from people in power, sit down to negotiate for what they want, focusing on the world as it is and striving to create the world as it should be. But this was not the end for Gregory and his fellow leaders. They met regularly for the next eight years with those in charge of delivering the Olympics and its legacy. They wanted to ensure that the Olympics were the best ever, not just in terms of sport, but also to ensure its lasting legacy for people living in London. And it was worth it. For example, by turning citizens' institutions into job centres, they managed to get nearly 2,000 local people into living wage Olympic jobs. Many to people who had never had a job before. Citizens UK starts by bringing people together so that they are powerful enough to create the change they want to see. It is based on the principle that stronger relationships between people and their institutions give communities more power to make change. As well as successful campaigns including the living wage, creating job opportunities and providing permanently affordable housing for local people, Citizens UK members have also made our streets safer, stopped families being locked up in immigration detention centres and taken action on hundreds of other local issues. We exist so that people like Gregory can reclaim politics and pass on the baton to future generations.